today is a travel day and it's a travel day with a difference in that I have no idea if I'm leaving Dugger Dinghy or not. So I'm Stu, I'm a backpacker from England and I'm travelling all the way back to England without flying. I've been here for five days now and it's a bank holiday in the town and there's a festival going on. So I went down to the bus station yesterday and just give you a quick view of where I am right now and I was told there was a bus that was going to be leaving here at 10 o'clock this morning so I just to be on the safe side turned up at half past eight to see if I could buy a ticket unfortunately I was told that every single bus was full that was leaving from here going to the next place which is Mersing I've been online, I have found a website that sells bus tickets and there's meant to be a bus leaving at 7 o'clock tonight and I've got a ticket. Now it looks legit, it looks official. So the guys in the hotel where I've been staying has said I could stay there until 7 o'clock tonight but one of the receptionist guys who's with me right now who I've nicknamed Bluey because of his blue hair has said there's a festival on and this is all through Google Translate because of the fact he didn't speak a lot of English so we are now at the festival uh, doesn't seem to be a lot happening do you want to say hello Bluey? say hello So yeah, we're going to have a wander down round here and hopefully, fingers crossed, there is a bus tonight because I've been here for five days now and I need to leave. <coughs> One of the main reasons I've been staying here for so long is the fact that I did lose my wallet and I had a lack of money but I had my monthly budget go in the bank this morning which means I am flush with cash in fact I don't think this has started yet very lack of people so I treat myself to a really good breakfast this morning I've had plenty of uh, water not that water is expensive I'm still trying to work out what the uh, festival is for. So at the moment it is quarter to two in the afternoon. I think this is a nighttime festival. <gasps> Look at the spices. Lots of colours. Now I am the only Westerner in town. That is a lot of colours. Well, not spices, it's sweets. Wow. So every now and again, I'll get stopped. Um, if people want to take a photograph, I feel like a Hollywood star. Bluey himself has taken about 15 photographs so far today quite impressed that I've uh, come out with them. Look at all them sweets. Yes, Hello. Food. That's the fruit. And there's the river Johar. The sign that says I love KT back to front. <clears throat> but imagine this place tonight will be packed but I don't care I'll be on a bus out of here now the reason all the buses seemingly are full is because it's a Thursday today and because the holiday today a lot of people are taking Friday off work as well it means it's going to be a long weekend and a lot of people have gone home to their villages their towns 
So all the buses to Mersing seemingly are full apart from the one seemingly that I've got. Pizza. Pizza. Yeah, you know it's some English. Today is a bit cooler. It's uh, 30 degrees. It's just still warm. I've got my t-shirt and shorts on. And I'm bluey for some reason wearing uh, jeans and a jumper. I've tried to do a Google Translate and find out if he's um, hot. And he went, yeah. Nearly tripped, as usual. So he's telling me to come through here. Because I think it carries on down there. Look. So this is all chicken. But I'm actually going to be healthy for a change and have some um, watermelon. So these look like they're being sat around for a couple of hours. And then right in the street of uh, Ray. So I've munched my way through my watermelon and uh, my grape juice with milk, which is quite nice. So the festival that's going on is Diwali and it's a uh, Hindu festival and it's a festival of lights and it's a and I've just found out it's a five day festival and every night while I've been in this town there's been fireworks I keep asking Bluey what it's all about he's gone I know um, now I know but he's just popped off to a shop I think and he said he didn't speak a lot of English he just walked off when Go, go. Um, so, yeah, so it looks like it's going to be a nighttime thing, meaning that when I get to Mershing tonight, it could be going on because if the bus leaves at 7, it's a two hour trip. I should get there for about 9 o'clock at night. Now, I've been online already to uh, look at hotels. Most hotels have already been fully booked. I think the cheapest one I found on booking.com was um, 60 pounds six zero and that's way too much that's expensive so if i look at airbnb do i hear a cat um there's an airbnb for uh, 16 pounds but obviously i've not booked anything yet because i don't know if there's a bus or not um, but at the moment I'm just sat, Louis really chose this place, um, it's a side street, it's in the shade, I'm on a step. Um, I can hear a cat. It's very quiet in the town at the moment, there's not a lot happening uh, in the space of, in the way of not enough people walking around. So I guess they're all just waiting for tonight. But as I said, this is a travel day, but not my usual one. I'm on the move again, I've no idea where I'm going, I'm just falling ahead, but keep saying, come, come. Right, there's signs all over the town that says Deep Valley 2024. And that's the, oh. You got know, the local Hells Angels? So the Deep Valley, that's the, uh, that's what I assumed was the festival. And it looks like it's going to be a big one tonight. <coughs> so the story with Bluey is the fact that he's uh, from Indonesia, he's from the island of Batam, from what I've gathered. Uh, he works on the reception of the hotel 24-7. Um, he works, he sleeps, he does everything at the reception. There's a young girl that comes in for a couple of hours every now and again. 
and the time I've been here she's been in three times and she'll come in for three or four hours which gives him a chance to get out about get some fresh air uh, and he just makes enough money to send home which is really not a good life but he's a happy chappy he's trying to learn some English oh there's family zipped enjoying the sunshine and the festival bit mixed, bit of fishing perfect so me and Bluey have a little wander around town and I've been everywhere around here but I think this is the first time he's actually explored the area he's taken so many photographs so this is the first time I've seen this one so this is uh, some artwork for history of Johar through art, street art and it is all the way down Good in Patti, the hills. Even a beach. And every single building is painted. <coughs> now this is one of the side streets. Oh, that looks. Well, I like that. Even the drain pipes have been painted. So I'm back at the hotel. I felt like a tour guide taking Bluey around, even though I'm the tourist. I don't think he's been out the the hotel since he's been here. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to wait until I get onto the bus tonight to make sure that I'm definitely going to the sink before I book any accommodation. Now this morning when I was going through a bit of a what do I do, um, the two options I had in my head was to either go back to JB, Johor Bahru, down the bottom towards Singapore uh, and then try and find somewhere to go from there. And the second option I had was to stay in the hotel for another night, go to a shop, get 20 cans of lager and get truly out of my mind with alcohol. But I'm done with nine of them. I am hoping this bus gets here. So I'm going to go back to the hotel. I've still got about three or four hours left to go before the bus arrives. It's just after 6.30 and I'm on the way to the bus station. I've had an afternoon of relaxing since I got back from the little touristy thing with Bluey. Basically doing nothing because I didn't have a room to go to. So I stayed in reception. He went and got his head down. But I think it was the first bit of sleep he's had for, for about 24 hours. So I'm turning up half an hour early just to be on the safe side. And it's starting to get dark. And that is the bus station. So the bus company I'm after is Plus Liner. It'll have it somewhere on the side. And I know the bigger buses usually go down that way. So I think I might just take a seat over here and just chill out for now. It's now five to seven. There is no bus, so I've just been over to the control centre and basically they've said it'll be here at 7 o'clock. Four minutes left. So I've got to come up with a backup plan 
even though I've spent 20 ringgit on this bus and the backup plan is there is another bus at 9 o'clock which I've tried to book online but it wouldn't take uh, my international visa card so I was told that it would only take cash on the bus but that's 9 o'clock at night getting in for about 11 o'clock in Rosing and you can see further on down there when we go out that the festivities are kicking off I don't know if you can see it down there all the tents loads of people heading down that way Three minutes left. Now I know this bus is probably coming from somewhere else and stopping off here. So you know, I'm, I'll let it off as long as it turns up. And then my second option is if no buses turn up, just to head back to the hotel to be another night get that copious amount of alcohol I'm just wandering around that like a lost soul at the moment and if I do go back to the hotel I'll just get into the bus first thing tomorrow morning I've always got to have a backup plan just in case and that's only because of my military background just amazed by all the birds on top of that tree don't know if you can hear them wow that's a lot of birds it's now 22 minutes past 7 no buses have turned up all the buses seem to come to Joa Baru, back to JP. I'm a bit annoyed now. And there's loads of buses. But I see loads of buses. There's four of them. All going to JB, but not around. Oh! I've just looked on Booking.com um, and Agoda, the cheapest hotels for tonight, £17. £17. I think the cheapest one on Agoda was £160 for the night. But I think that's because everything's gold plated in the bed so oh so I have made a command decision I'm going back to the hotel um, and then I'm going to go to the are no bars no nice good ground here but I will go to Market. For me, it's payday. I might just get a copious amount of alcohol and then just wake up early with a hangover and try and find the bus. It's quarter weight. I've had enough. I mean, even the bus that is meant to be in at nine o'clock, I don't know if there's any room in it. Because every single bus seems to have been full today, just for today. And you can hear them birds. So, I'm heading back to the hotel. I've just been booking.com. It's got room. And it's probably got my old room that I checked out from this morning. 
I am going to head to the shop. I am going to buy a lot of alcohol. I've not had a drink for three weeks, which is not bad. Oh, so there are times when I think, what have I learned today? And my lesson that I've learned today is the fact I should check out public holidays. Because you never know when they're going to be. Every country's different. So, so annoyed. And it's a good job I didn't book any um, hotels in Mersing because then I would have lost a bit of cash, a bit of money. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the hotel and I will be up very early, complete with hangover. And I do believe somewhere down there is a wine shop, which is even better. And the fact the hotel is just across the road from the bus station is even better. So that was my travel day. The one that didn't happen. Oh. And it will be officially the longest place I've stayed in in this this adventure so far. I think the worst part of being at the bus station tonight was I had a lot of people coming up to me going, where are you from? Where are you going? And when I said I was mercing, I'm with this bus station uh, or this bus company, they would say, oh, they'll be here in five minutes time. And I've had that since um, quarter to seven. So, if you've enjoyed this video, you probably have because you've just giggled all the way through then you got press that like button if you want to see if I should get out of this town because it seems very difficult to leave here then press that subscribe button but as I said I'm off to get drunk so until next time bye bye for now